What is up, y'all? You have tuned in to another edition of Keeping It Real TV. I am your host, Regina. And today, y'all, today we're going to be talking about Prissy P and how she rules over her husband. We're going to be talking about how she treats him like her son, but yet he's her husband. How she talks to the man any kind of way. And well, when it comes to some of these other people online, hell, compared to Ray Sean, she treats them like gold. Let's get it, y'all. Now, the first thing we're going to be talking about, which inspired this video, is when they went to Panera Bread. In this clip, you're going to see Prissy pick up her cat and lick it, and Ray Sean going to follow suit. This man going to literally stop what he's doing to pick up his cat and lick it because Prissy licked hers. It's, you just can't make this stuff up. Um, what? I said my dress look old. Like I just don't understand it, and I'm not going to stay on this too long because it is something that he does, and I don't even know if he's realizing that he's doing this now, but it is something that he do now. He copies what she said, just like with the whole fish sticks. She's like, okay, lips, and he's like, okay, lips. Okay, lips. Okay, lips. Like, what are you, her goddamn parrot or something? Like, I don't understand it. You make yourself look real weak sometimes, and it's not a shot at you or anything like that. Because I do think it's a reason why Rayshawn acts the way that he acts. And it comes across to us as something wrong with him. He's slow. He wants to be controlled. That's how it comes across. And although they may not like hearing this, that's how it comes across. I mean, she has trained this man up very well. That's one thing I'll never take from you, Prissy. You have trained Rayshawn up very well. I mean, just look at him, y'all. Watch her pick up her whole chicken and him pick up his and watch what she do with her teeth, and he gonna follow suit. He is a damn fool. You are an embarrassment. I'm sorry, you look very weak, simple. Like, I, I don't even know what else to say. I'm just saying, I don't know how y'all get down in North Carolina, girl. But down here in Maryland, girl, I could never. Some man running behind some woman, literally eating yourself into the grave, and he following behind her. Okay, lips. Okay, lips. I'll give it a 10. Like a damn fool. Just look at him with this damn chicken that they about to devour, and she want to act like she don't know if he can eat a, a whole taco box. Girl, bye. I mean, this is just sad. Did y'all see him? The same with telling him to show his chicken sandwich. She done snatched his food out of his um, hand and put it in the camera. Like, that is so disrespectful. For real. Are you showing your burger? I only bit my burger one time. No, I'm just... Yeah, I've been showing... I'm just uh, asking. Yeah, I've been showing my burger. Y'all see that? Go up close. Wait, 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 wait. It's, it's real it's sloppy. That's How? 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 The, ra the ranch dressing or whatever is on it is dripping. Men don't know, girl. My husband, he just be wanting to eat. Oh, we might as well not even do a caramel up. Um... Do y'all hear this girl or is it just me? My husband, he just be wanting to eat. Ma'am! Uh... You just be wanting to eat, hence why you always got most of the food, hence why you order what only you like to eat, hence why you big as a house and wide as they come. But yet you want to hear, my husband, he just be wanting to eat. And so do you, with your big self. You ought to be ashamed of yourself with some of the things that you say to this man. You have created the monster, now you complaining about him. My husband just be wanting to eat. Your big ass just be wanting to eat. To the point where you eat his food and will damn near take his head off if he asks for some of your food. You treat your husband like shit. He probably do want to eat. Being the fact that you'll make sure that your mom and your brother and everybody else is eating before your own husband. Let's just, let's talk about that for a minute. Huh? But you can make sure you and your mama eat, but you don't even make sure your husband got something that he like. My husband, he just be wanting to eat as big as she is. You act like he's your son got the nerve to get on camera and talk to the man any kind of way. And that's the thing. It's on camera. We wouldn't know if you only did it off of camera. But we do see what you do on camera. Then got the nerve to be hollering about, y'all only see 10, 15 minutes of my life. 
you know, at a time you don't know nothing. Yeah, we know about them 10 or 15 minutes. And in those 10 or 15 minutes, you can't even stop yourself from degrading the man and snatching his food out of his hand and upset that he dropped something like he perfect or something. One thing about this. When you yourself be sitting up here eating food out of your shirt, spilling stuff all over your shirt, you remind me of a child I went to elementary school with. He always had ketchup stains on these white t-shirts he would wear. Every time we come from lunch, he got some type of stain on his shirt. Like, you can't eat. Is it a hole in your lip? What's going on? But yet you mad because he dropped something or because he moved a certain way or he didn't show his sandwich. Nobody wants to see your food all the time in the camera. You do too much. But the fact that you get mad because he, he dropped something, yeah. I mean, and if you think that's bad, don't let him have a cold, y'all. Don't let him need to clear his throat, y'all. Don't let him have to cough, y'all, because she going to get mad at that as well. But I bet you if she was sick, he'll be catering to her like a damn fool. Because who the fuck would do that? You treat me like shit when I'm sick or when I need to call for every day. And then something happened to you and I'm catering to you. He was up there wrapping your big ass up in those leg compressions with all these ailments and stuff you got. You got the nerve to treat the man like shit because he coughing. Y'all shit crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't say it enough. Prissy P, you are a nasty, nasty, mean, oh, mean, 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 mean wife. I would never treat my husband that way because he coughing, because he may be choking on something, maybe something went down the wrong pipe. You are a disgusting woman. I'm sorry. And you know what? It is what it is. But Rayshawn, you better start standing up for yourself unless you like it. I think the man like it. You look dumb. I'm going to just tell you that though. You look dumb. In the previous video, Rayshawn stated that he liked the masa wraps better than the flower ones. And Prissy proceeded to tell him, you like those too, speaking about the flower ones. Flower took the yes. Even though she know I like the masa ones. So, Rayshawn, you sitting here wondering why your wife won't order you masa wraps? Here's why. Mm. Now, this brother is the real. This is a masa. Masa flower. Masa. Yeah. I prefer that. I probably prefer that one on uh, a flower. Mm -hmm. She don't care that he likes the masa ones. Leave it to Prissy to order the food, to disperse the food, all the food sitting in front of her. But what set it off is when I was going back through these videos, yeah, you know I mean, she was treating Nick Avocado way better than she treat her husband. Honey, Nick was allowed to dip. Nick was allowed to put his food right beside hers. They close together and everything else, Rayshawn. So you got to ask yourself, if she can sit up here and show this total stranger from the internet, another mukbanger because he eats, if she can have more respect for that man than she do her own husband, come on now, you got to have some pride about your own self. You got to have some dignity about your own self and you got to put your foot down and stop accepting the bullshit or you're going to forever live your life this way with her and her mom and baby Nova in tow. I'm pretty sure the order in that house is Prissy, Mama Bree, Nova, Miracle, then Rayshawn. Rayshawn, you seem like you at the bottom of the total pole. Sir, you should be leading this household, sir. You should be in charge here. I'm not saying you got to act like a tyrant, but my God, stand up for yourself. At least stand up for yourself, but you should be at the head of this household. But it seems like you underneath holding up the foundation. I, I just don't get it. She don't even let the man disperse food or make a food decision. He can't even choose what he wants to eat. I bet she dresses him in the morning as well. But that's another story. And that's another time. Let's look at how she treated Nick Avocado versus how she would treat Ray Sean. A lot of people was giving him crap about... He always do that. Comment below if your spouse do that. 
I mean, ain't no they, point. they always say they're not dippers, right? I literally just asked you that you want some sauce. You need some sauce? You I do that I got two sauces right here. I know, so I do that. Because the two sauces open already. Yeah, they're mine. Ready? Yeah, they're mine. Okay. I'll open my own then. Y'all heard me ask him too. That's he always do that. There's five sauces on this table. Shit. Yeah, that's me. Alright, you see how she treated Ray Sean when it came to dipping in her ketchup and her ranch dressing. Well, let's see how she treated Nick Avocado. Ooh, look at that, y'all. <gasps> drip, drip, drip. Ooh, I'm gonna do you the need same. A dip. I yes. need to do the same. Can I do can you just dip? Yes, dip it real good. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like seafood sauce over here. Yes. <laughs> Did y'all hear? Oh, she's insisting that Nick Avocado dip in her sauce. You have to dip it, she told Nick Avocado. But when it came to Ray Sean, she almost took his head off because he wanted to dip in her ketchup or dip in her ranch dressing. But for Nick Avocado, a complete stranger on the internet, oh, you can dip in her sauce any day. My, 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 my. Rashawn looking dumb tonight. And I hope you can uh <laughs> and I hope you can relate, Prissy, since you like to bust out in songs. I like to too. And that's the first one that came to mind when I seen you allow this total stranger to dip in your sauce, but you couldn't let your husband dip in your sauce. And in fact, you told your husband, no, they are mine. But it wasn't yours when Nick Avocado wanted some. How fucked up is that? Like I told y'all, she's a nasty, nasty wife. So now we're going to move on to how she treats him in public, like a child. This is the Jolly Bees video when the other people from Epic Empire was around filming as well. If you pay attention to her, she don't want him to touch the food. And Rayshawn, this is why I said she's disgusted with you. She don't want you to touch the food. She's telling you your hands is dirty. She's feeding you the food so you won't touch the food. She's treating you like a damn child. And then got the nerve to share all of the food. Remember she made that short talking about she fat but she paid? Girl, if you so paid. Why when you go on a trip to Texas, honey, you and your husband got to share a drink? Baby, because me and mine's is not. I don't have to share a sandwich, a drink, a hot dog. Like, y'all are nasty. I'm sorry. I understand they husband and wife. But when she's disgusted that he's touching a burger, what more can you say? It's absolutely ridiculous. But let's look at Prissy P treat Ray Sean like the child she think he is. It's like a helmet. It's like an American whip sauce. Sauce, cheese, and ketchup. Oh, got hands out. One more. Feeding him like he a two-year-old. And now we about to take a look at when they start eating the burger. And this is when I realized she don't want him to touch anything because she don't think his hands is clean. Well, like, I just, I don't understand it. But she can touch everything. I guess she just know her hands is clean. As nasty as she is, as big as she is, I'm sorry. I'm not eating her cooking because I don't think you can wash correctly. I wouldn't want to eat your food. And you in here hollering about take, take your, why you got to roll it down for uh, your dirty fingers like what in the world and then it keeps it on camera you Rayshawn you dumb as shit I'm sorry yo who talks to their husband this way and on camera why don't you tell him go wash his hands why don't you give him something to clean his hands with why would you sit down with your husband at a table and watch him eat with dirty hands instead of saying babe go wash your hands your hands look dirty but Let's look at them eat the burger and her degrade him at the same time. And, well, Rayshawn, he just going to sit there and take it like he always do with his little slow self. The meat patty is different. What's, what's in here? Gravy for the chicken. I 
so extra. Everything about Prissy is about making money. It doesn't matter that she treats Rayshawn any kind of way. She's willing to degrade him on camera. She's willing to make him look simple on camera. She doesn't care. She did it time and time again, even when people were telling her in her comment section that she was being ignorant to him. She doesn't care. She's going to tell you what she want to tell you to get the views that she wants, to get her a little bit more money so she can go spend it on food. That's all she's doing. And in a way, I'm going to be real with you. The girl done sold her soul for food, to eat online. When you're willing to disrespect your husband, your family, to exploit them and herself as well for money, for a click and a view, I'm sorry, you done sold your soul for a piece of change. And it's sad, but even the same way she tried to clickbait people into thinking when she got pregnant the first time and she lost her baby and everything like that, when she lied to these people and was like, we're going to have a registry and this, that, and the third, sitting up in the car lying while Miracle's sitting in the passenger seat laughing because she know Prissy been lost this baby, but Prissy is about to make a dime off of it. And if you don't believe me, she did it again and everybody fell for it again. Even when she was pregnant with Nova, and she was pregnant with twins and lost one of them. She been lost that twin. But she had no shame in putting up here that she lost her baby. She been knew that, y'all. Think about it. She waited for a long time to tell us this time, right? She waited to put it on her page. When she started, when she told us she was pregnant, she already knew she lost the baby, y'all. But she still waited a week, played on people's heartstrings. Oh, devastating news. She been knew she lost this baby, but she still had no shame in putting it up here. She could have put that in the first one she put up when she told us she was pregnant, but she chose not to. She chose to make it a whole nother subject, y'all. For me, it's too much. You already knew you lost a baby months ago, but you're going to get on here and tell us you lost a baby like you lost a baby a couple weeks ago. Stop playing games. It's all for clicking a view. Rayshawn, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say it, but Rayshawn, you are a fool. You go along with anything this woman wants to do, and that's not how it should be. Stand up and lead your family, and stop letting this woman lead you down a road of destruction. But that is not for me to decide. Y'all, let me know how you are feeling in the comments. All about Miss Prissy P, and how she acts like Rayshawn is a child, and even gotta feed him because she think his hands is dirty. Let me know how you feel that weak little Ray Sean is running around behind Prissy and acting like her parent. Well, I want to thank y'all for tuning in to another edition of Keeping It Real TV. My name is Regina. Remember to always keep it real and your girl is out.